Hey everybody, this is the Duck Shoes Gaming Bungalow. Today, I'm not playing Resident Evil 4, I'm playing RuneScape. Uh, because I logged into RuneScape uh, as one does, and uh, the Halloween event for this year. 2023 playing runescape in the year 2023 and the halloween event is on so i was like what if i just recorded myself playing runescape and uh pay tribute to uh the runescape gamers of old playing this game with unregistered hypercam 2 and uh and fraps and whatnot, you know, making RuneScape music videos. I was like, I'll, I'm gonna do that, except without the music video part, and I'm just gonna play the game and like talk or whatever. So it's a uh, it's a Friday night. So what better time to play RuneScape and make a YouTube video about it? Uh, so like I said. The Halloween event right now. I'm looking spooky. I got I got uh all my Halloween stuff on here. I'm like we got the spookier hood. We got the ugly Halloween jumper orange. We got the hunting knife. The treat cauldron. The clown trousers and the spookier boots. And the 20th anniversary gloves and the ring of life which are also very spooky in the name of the glory yeah. team 46k um so you can you can get these uh from the halloween children who oh wait you gotta click holiday items and then you can just pick a bunch of stuff and just assemble your halloween costume which is great because uh, I don't have a Halloween costume this year in real life, but at least I have one in RuneScape. Uh, you can talk to these guys, and they tell you about the event, and they're like, you're like, what's that giant cauldron doing there? And they're like, it's collecting treats. And you're like, what the hell? We gotta fill the cauldron? And they're like, yeah. And sometimes bats come out of it, apparently. Uh, can anyone put treats in the cauldron? Yes, of course. So now we gotta walk up in here. Yeah, and then they're like, oh yeah. Like, death summoned the cauldron. And I was like, bro. Like, you're just gonna say that? And then, um, you can trick or treat by, like, walking up to NPCs. And trick or treating them, and you gotta hold, you gotta have the cauldron with you. So, I did that on like one guy already. So, I have two treats. I don't really know, like, what I haven't done this specific Halloween event before, so I don't know uh, how, how it ends or whatever. Oh, you can check the cauldron stats. Okay, so I guess, yeah, like a bunch of players contribute to it, and then you, uh, you reach certain goals with certain amounts of treats in the cauldron, so it looks like we get the next gift in 80 treats. Well, I'm going to deposit my treats, so now we get it in 78, baby. It's as easy as that. Um, oh, I really like the hunting knife because when you walk around with it, you like hold it in the air Like you're Michael Myers or something. So that's really cool There's my character Wow Okay, yeah, I had the pumpkin lantern, but I was like I should probably wear the treat cauldron so let's uh okay so this is the guy this is the first guy I trick-or-treated um 
and he... Okay, okay, he has new dialogue, but first time I trick-or-treated him, he told me that the, uh, the town crier in Falador gives out a lot of treats, so I was like, ooh, we get to do some, uh, some freaking like, world, world traveling with this Halloween event. Trick or treat like, people all over RuneScape, all over Gilenor. So, um, I figure you probably usually get like normal amounts of treats from NPCs, but then sometimes they'll tell you about it. What? Okay. Uh, I just got turned into a spider. They. That's crazy, actually. They don't just treat you like in Halloween in real life. They trick you sometimes. That's good. That's really nice. Also, Varrock, uh... Classic Varrock Plaza. Varrock Square. With, like, Halloween decorations. Don't talk to me if you can't chill here for, like, the rest of your life. If you aren't down to just hang out in Varrock, I want to be your friend. I cannot find anybody to trick or treat. Probably the clothing store, right? You'd probably be down. Oh, uh, I knew it. I knew if you would be down. Yes, my costume is beautiful. What I care for is a scary story. Okay. That's that's messed up. So that's that's smart. Bro, why do I keep stealing the treats? Was it ghosts? I bet it was in ghosts. Charlie. Bro, what did it look like? Someone had been putting Halloween costumes on the hungry stray dogs? Stray dogs that roam around Verrock. Oh, Ned in Drainer Village. I got a hundred treats from her. I'm a genius. I knew that was gonna... I knew that was a good idea. Um, okay, Ned in Drainer. And the dude in Falador. Allegedly give out a lot of treats, so... Well, I guess she said Ned is a fan of colorful costumes, but... I'm assuming that means... That you get a lot of stuff from him. I guess hay bale, a bundle of straw. Let's go to Falador. I got runes set up for this exact scenario before I started recording. Um, where is your boy? Here's the, here's the guard. Thanks. Ah, see? There we go. Yeah, see, I only got three from him, so I think from normal NPCs, just get three. Town Cryer? We're in for a smorgasbord. Yeah, I know. I know I'm spooky. Yeah. I was in the Vera church. I was just in Vera. He gave me a hundred. I think we'll probably go to Drainer from here. Um, since Drainer's really close by. To this day, there's still no Drainer Village teleport. 
Well, okay, you can actually teleport to Draenor a few ways. Or maybe at least, there's at least one way. I think you can actually teleport with the glory amulet. But mine is not charged, so. Never get tired of the RuneScape music. Also, if it isn't, uh, it isn't clear by now. I haven't played like a ton of old school RuneScape. Uh, my main account on RS3 is like, that's my OG account, and then I, you know, I actually started playing old school when it came out, but I just, you know, I never really got my account as grinded up as my main one on regular RuneScape. It was kind of disappointing to me at first that I uh, had to restart the game, but I've actually come to enjoy that over the years, playing a few hours at a time and getting to a total skill level of 659, which, like, it's been a long time, but I've definitely not actually played OSRS that much compared to my main account. And uh, in, in the years that I've been playing OSRS, I also have been playing RS3 on and off. And uh, been slowly, every, every few years basically, I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna resub to RuneScape and try to get 99 Slayer. And this year, it's the closest I've ever gotten. Because I am almost at, uh, I'm on like, I have like 95 or 96 Slayer on my RS3 account. So, um, I'm getting, it's, it's kind of a lifelong goal of mine to reach 99 Slayer, so, or 99 in any skill, but I chose Slayer, because Slayer's cool. So, I'll get there eventually, but not during this Halloween event in old school RuneScape, I can tell you that much. Also, I want to check out that Necromancy skill, because that just came out, I haven't gotten to do that. Also, I like forgot who Ned is. I thought Ned was Diango. But Diango is Diango. Oh, that's the wise old man. Oh, Ned is the sailor. Who helps you out during Dragon Slayer. Yes. I knew it. Even Draenor Village has Halloween decorations. That's awesome. Hey, Ned, it's me. Trick or treat. What a good costume. I know, it's terrifying. Oh, yeah. I don't really know what that dialogue was about. No, you the guy in Falador told me about Elsie and Verrock. Look at that. I got the spooky guy over there. Everybody's got the decoration. The wall beast decoration. Why is there a goblin in this house? Has he always been in here? Can I kill him with the hunting knife? This is actually the closest I've gotten in uh, old school RuneScape to getting my dragon dagger back <laughs> is using this hunting knife right now. Okay, we're accomplishing nothing. I'm just gonna leave this goblin to whatever, whatever he's doing. All right, we're teleporting to Varrock. Also, you may, you might have noticed. 
Oh, jeez, who's Elsie and Varrock? I don't know. Wait, they said she's in the church. I think that's over here. You might have noticed my mic quality is way better right now than in my other videos. That's because I happen to already have a mic for my computer. But all my other videos I've recorded on my PlayStation 5 with my default cruddy disgusting PlayStation 5 controller Salty Gibby you trick or treat with Salty Gibby you can actually trick or treat with other players too which is cool they have to be holding a treat cauldron come on Salty Gibby just you know where's your holiday spirit I say as I walk up to him with my bloody dagger. Who's your holiday spirit, Father Lawrence? Oh jeez, it's gonna take forever to find Elsa from Frozen or whoever. There's Jeremy. Um... Cause, yeah, so I, uh, you know... I'm recording these videos whenever I feel like it with a budget of exactly zero dollars so I was in the Varrock church yeah he did say it was the church so this is like the only church in Varrock okay well there's one down here but that's like the Zamorakian altar whatever So, like, that's not really... It's a type of church. So, anyway, that's why my mic sounds good right now. This is Elsie. Yeah. Trick or treat. I know. I somehow did not think Halloween was a holiday you'd enjoy. Yeah, well, maybe if you uh, stop being so closed-minded. Play your character. Alright. A lot of people can enjoy Halloween. You knitted your own Halloween costumes? That rules. How did you make a three-headed dragon costume? They caused mass hysteria? Uh, she went crazy in her younger years with those outfits, bro. The Lumbridge Guide. Oh, we gotta go down there. I figured we might need to teleport to Lumbridge eventually. That's why I brought the Earth Runes. Oh yeah, this is good. Yeah, this is really nice. The jack-o'-lantern. The jack-o'-lantern. The chocolate frost. <laughs> Sorry, that's a Shaquille O'Neal reference. The jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> the chocolate ice. <laughs> uh, that's legit. People tell stories of the past and future by the way they dress. Woke. He's got his third eye wide open. I have 506 treats. I'm gonna trick or treat the man. Becky Lynch over here. Four treats. 510 treats. Oh, they got spiders on the gate. Man. See that? Oh, they got these guys too. Great. There's also a uh, f uh, what's it called? Halloween event. 
going on in Final Fantasy XIV right now. But I don't want to resub to Final Fantasy XIV at the moment. Because it would end my entire life if I did that. But that game is really good. Probably one of the one of the best online games I've ever played. It's definitely like equal with RuneScape, I would say. It's at least as good as RuneScape. It's pro FF14 is probably better than RuneScape, but the vibes of RuneScape are unmatched. And, uh, you know, you got like rune plate armor and like fire capes, and dragon scimitars, and armadil god swords, and runescape. So, and Final Fantasy XIV doesn't really have that. Um, let's take those. Teleport to house. I think my house is in, uh... I just did, like, the regular... Like, quest where you get your house. Like, that first quest, like, a little bit ago. Which I forgot the name of it. But I think once you do that, it unlocks your house. And the default location of your house is, like... Um... Ta Tathersby... Cather Catherby? No, not Catherby. Taverly. Taverly. So right up here, next to Falador. Yeah, there we go. I think it's right here. So that's not going to help me. I need to get back to Vera. Um, uh, which I, I now realize. Oh, that guy's like almost the same level as me. Uh, I just realized the Lumbridge Guide think told me to go to Varak, but I like totally forgot because I was talking about like Becky Lynch or something. Final Fantasy 14 or whatever. Final Fantasy 14 should have a WWE collaboration. That'd be sick. Okay. Varak. Oh, he just told me to go to Varak in general. Okay. I've been there, bro. Okay, well, uh, the cauldron said I get another reward in 80 treats, and I have 500, so I gotta be, like, cashing in the big money dollars right now. Deposit. I'm gonna make a deposit. Ain't no more space in my pockets. Cobweb cape. Spider hat. Trick. Spider hat again? Spider hat again? Spider hat again? Change? Oh. oh. Saracinus? Venonatus? Natty Daddy? Whoa. That's scary. Cobweb cape. This is made of the finest spider silk. Uh, that's cool. I'm just gonna examine this. Provider of mental cobwebs. What the heck? Get it off of me. Jeez. Cobweb case is kind of cool. What are we looking at here? With the next gift and 48 treats. I've gotten six out of the nine gifts. Bro, we can totally reach the next three. 48 more treats. Ah, oh, jeez. Talk to the children. No, oh, they don't really have anything to say. Oh, who should I go talk to? Zaf? No. None of these guys. Woman. What? Oh 
she's a ghost? What? Bro, we have a ghost roaming the streets of Varrock? Like, legitimately? That's not even really a trick. That's just like an actual... Like, paranormal activity. And now she's back to being a woman? Well, Salty Gibby's back. He still doesn't have his cauldron. Can I trick or treat this implant? No. This guy, T. Seller. Museum garden. I wish I could trick or treat that guy. Just stop him in the middle of his wheelbarrow. In the middle of his wheelbarrow pushing. Who do I talk to? Um, well, okay, like we've been to Lavarak, Lumbridge, Falador, Drainer. Maybe we should uh, go to Edgeville. I happen to have this Ardogni teleport tab, so let's use that. Just uh, in case. Anybody? Do they not celebrate Halloween in Ardogna? Are you guys boring? I can trigger tree rap master three four five. Our, our Doug might be the uh, might be the boring neighborhood in terms of Halloween celebrations and whatnot. They might be the boring neighborhood. It's the one that you just drive by and they have no decorations because they, you know, you're not gonna get any candy from them. Yeah, that's a problem. Jericho? Not even Jericho. Talk to the bank. I swear there's an NPC. Oh, whatever. Okay, let's, um... Oh, I already have runes for Falador. Okay. I'm dumb. Let's go back to Falador. And my plan is actually to go up to... Well, okay. Number one. I want to check... King of... Did I say Falador? I meant Varrock. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, now I look stupid. I've been playing this game for like 15 years, bro. What? I'm a bat now? How does a guard turn me into a bat? Hey, bro, you don't know any magic? No, he's gonna do it again, isn't he? Oh, okay. I'm so sorry I called Varrock Falador. At least I'm pretty sure I did. Pretty sure I did. Sir Pryson, I remember that guy. Okay, the castle is like so decorated. Are you serious? Anus Sig Reisfer? King Rold? None of you? can trick or treat, even though the castle is just decked out. That's so messed up. Not even the wizard. Okay, so my other plan was to go... Well, first of all, run through the Grand Exchange. Oh, can I talk to Posty Pete? Nope. Um, can I pickpocket the bear? I mean, trick-or-treat the bear? Nope. Uh, go through the Grand Exchange, and then go through Edgeville. I feel like Edgeville, probably... Probably, you could probably get some trick-or-treating done over there. Trick or treat Metal Wolf 25. No. 
Gotta be Edgeville. If it's not Edgeville, I will eat my shoe. I will sniff the smelly so how did I get that? <laughs> what What is the smelly sock? I'll talk to this guy. Maybe I can get advice from the Edgeville guards. Oh Oh you gooster. Really funny. Uh, this guy. I just want to see if anybody will give me a tip. Okay. What is this? Oh, this is the dog. Talk about having that dog in you. Become the dog. Man. Somebody at some point has got to... I'm a dog with a spider on me now? It's insane. Somebody's got to tell me about a... No? Are the last, like, several hundred of the treats just like a big grind fest? Uh, they might be. Okay, what's up with this sock? You stinky? Where did I even get this? You stinky. I don't know. Maybe I got that from a trick. Uh, no lie, I'm gonna like look up. Look up a Halloween event. Like right now. Uh, bear with me. Uh, uh It looks like I've uh, more or less talked to everybody who gives you a hundred treats. But it looks like you can, uh... Sorry, I'm reading this Wikipedia page. Yeah, you... It looks like you just kind of have to... Talk with NPCs and stuff. Oh, but it looks like some, uh... There are some NPCs that show up for a short period of time called Generous Treaters, which are wearing uh, the outfit of the uh, spooky guy from Scream. And they give you a hundred, but they only stick around for a short period of time. So that's interesting. Let's see, it looks like you can find them in a few spots. Southwest of the Western Anvil House? Oh, that's this right here, isn't it? It's the Anvil House. Talk to this guard. Uh, maybe one will spawn here. South of Thessalia's House in Verak. 
he tricked me. By the fountain east of Varak Square, south of the East Bank and Varak, south of Albury's Rune Shop. Okay, so if we can get like if we can get a few of those guys, we'll definitely be able to get mad Twix. You know what I'm saying? Like hella M&Ms. Just big old Hershey's chocolate bars. Probably a few Mars bars too. I don't remember who Thessalia is. What do you want, Rick? I got a ruby. Gotta love the random events. I don't remember who Thessalia is. By the fountain east of Barrack Square. I know where that is. I know where the fountain is. Ba -ba -ba. Toby. Toby of Undertale fame. Oh, this fountain, I see. South of the East Bank in Barak. I promise I'm not making this up. These are these are supposed to be real NPCs. I guess they really don't show up that often. <gasps> There's a generous tutor. Oh. Oh, I have a spooky costume. I got a hundred treats. Oh hell yeah. I receive a bruised banana. Oh, I ate it. I didn't mean to eat it. It's slimy and not at all delicious. Man, I'll eat a bruised banana. I don't care. I like bananas. Um, I think that... I get the feeling that this, uh... Hundred treats we just got. It's not gonna be quite enough to get us all the way there. But I bet it'll get us most of the way there. So let's see. Maybe we'll run into another homie along the way. A trick or treat. Deposit these. I gotta make a deposit. Spider hat. It's good. Halloween mask set. Bro. Like the actual like Halloween masks that are worth like a billion GP. Ooh. Next gift in 65. Okay, okay. We can do this. We can do this. totally do this, man. Hold on. Uh, what's up with the Halloween mess set? How do I exchange? Ah, uh, whatever. I don't need to figure that out right now. The GE average is 28k. Thank you. Uh, room light. No guy over here. South of the East Bank. That's Thessalia's house. Who's Thessalia? Oh, she's in clothing? Okay. Well, I, I walked past her. Come on, man. I'm, I gotta hustle for these treats, bro. I got three. I got a trick. Uh, does the Bandos player have a... No, they don't have a cauldron. I can trick or treat woman. Oh, what's she saying? I thought she had like a funny response.
We're almost there, dude. I can feel it. Oh, come on. I got another bruised banana. This doesn't look tasty. Hey, it'll be fine. It's just a regular banana. But a little bit mushier. Generous, the generous treater is gone. Generous treater is uh, what they called me back in the day. My close friends, that's what they, that's what they called me. Trick or treat. Twelve. Oh, I thought that was a generous treater, but it's just Captain Dinkelberg. I gotta be holding a cauldron. Maybe, can I trick or treat a mugger? What do you think? I think they'll be down with that. Trick or treating is sort of like mugging, but uh, the other person like agrees to give you stuff. And it's usually only like one variety of stuff. Getting there. You got 16. Shout me on the Twitch chat. Do you think we can get to at least 20? Give me some bits. Give me a prime sub. Give me a subway sandwich. Shout me on the YouTube comments. Come on, let's go. I've played like every Dragon Quest game, dude. This is nothing to me. I'm a hustler. Come on, guard. Trick or treat, yes. Come on. I trick or treated in real life, dude. Oh, they gave me a smelly sock. Maybe this guy has refreshed. Okay, how many did I need? Like 40? No, 65. God darn it, I thought it was like 40 something. That's fine. This is easy. I'm already at 41. Never let anything, never let anybody diminish your holiday spirit. I just want you to know that. There's no good reason for it to ever be diminished. Um, I need a stamina potion. There we go. Okay. Got a stamina potion. Now we're in business. Now we're gonna run loops around these fools. They're gonna be like, whoa, dude. Why are you trick-or-treating so rapidly? And then I show them my my core's light. And they're like, oh. Carry on. Come on, dude. I'm right clicking like crazy. Come on, woman. Trick or treat. 51. Yeah, we're. we're. oh. We're a spider. Uh, 
Imagine if you would just do that to people in real life. There's like a kid who shows up on your doorstep that you don't like. Dressed in like a basic freaking ghost sheet. You just, you can't, you just don't like the cut of his jib. And you say poof. You're a spider now. And then you like get arrested for turning somebody's kid into a spider. Man, stop tricking me. 61. Okay, okay, okay. We're closing in. They gave me a spooky egg? That's a new one. I've been assured it's spooky. It does kind of have a spooky face on it, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I don't want to attack her. Uh, I wonder if I can just talk to uh, the clothing shop lady and uh, see if she gives me uh, extra stuff again. You probably can't. Nah. I don't think I've talked to this guy. Yes, yeah, 65, bro. 65 exactly. We're balling so hard. Okay, get him in there. 720, I received a pumpkin. Oh. Cobweb cape, spider hats, drink emote, two Halloween masks. Two pumpkins. The old school team wishes you a happy Halloween. That's gorgeous. Let me look at that. Uh, let me look at that uh, pumpkin. I gotta swap it at the bank. Wow, that's worth a lot. Oh, I should also use that emote. Alright, let's see what's up with these pumpkins. Always examine your pumpkins. Eat? I eat it? Happy Halloween. 8k, 9k. You just eat it, huh? Current goal, 150. What happens if... Uh, each goal reach unlocks a new look for your two cards. Okay, so if all the players in the entire world get to the goal, then uh, the tree cauldron probably like gets bigger or something. Maybe, uh, maybe if enough people do that, then the uh, the event like uh, reaches a new like segment like maybe uh, death will show up the grim reaper shows up and starts giving socks and bananas to everybody that'd be cool if that happens i might record it but uh, i might not i don't know i answer to nobody um these pumpkins are dope i'm gonna drop one on the ground that looks cool uh i'm gonna use the trick emote Hyper mobile drinker? I don't know why I have this. That was awesome. Oh yeah, the premier shield. It's a good one. I actually don't know why I have a lot of these. I guess it's because I'm such an OG. I just kind of have them. Zombie dance is a classic. Trick. Oh, this is trick. This is this has been around for a while, right? Or at least there used to be an emote that looked a lot like this one. Because this is, uh, yeah, that's kind of an OG emote. It's rad. 
It's crazy dance. Oh my god, it's Gangnam Style. I can't believe Gangnam Style is in the game. That's that's like a little bit stupid. Scared. Zombie hand. Yeah, let's do all the Halloween emotes. That's a classic right there. Okay, I don't actually have that many Halloween emotes, but I can flex. Yeah. Trick. There's no treat emote. There's a party emote. That's basically a treat emote. Okay, well, uh, thank you. Thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed uh, RuneScaping with me tonight. It was a beautiful evening. A few days before Halloween 2023 and whatnot. Uh, have yourself a good Halloween. If you, uh, if you like RuneScape, you should check out Old School RuneScape and the Halloween event. RuneScape is uh, one of the chillest games you could possibly play. And uh, you can you can have a you can have a funny outfit. You can eat a banana. You can sniff a sock. What more could you want? Am I right? Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Uh, talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. This is Duck Shoes Gaming Bungalow, and we out.